Do you ever wonder why people are in such a good mood after watching a Ricky J video? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they're all watching in awe, feeling full of passion and electricity. Because they're watching the jabroni beating, pie eating, trail blazing, eyebrow raising, Ricky's popping videos, no if, ands, or maybe. Come on, mama, we got no choice but to start watching some Ricky J, baby. What's up, everybody? This is Ricky J, man. Uh, that was a fun intro to get the Attitude Era Rumble started. And this is going to be so much fun, man. But I got to tell you, in this Rumble, I am not going to be controlling anybody because I really want to see who is the cream of the crop, the guy that's going to rise to the top. Man, I got to stop with all that. But I want to see who is going to be the best in this Attitude Era. Let's see who's coming in first. Everything is completely randomized. The winner of this Rumble is going to the Champions Rumble Season 2. And look at this. Who's coming in first? It's D'Lo Brown. Former European Champion. And D'Lo Brown, man, got me in so much trouble growing up. Because I remember walking in line while I was in school. Doing that whole neck action. And man, it got me in big time trouble. <laughs> but that is way too fun. D'Lo Brown kicking things off. You know, he was a fantastic athlete, very strong. And let's see how he does coming in at one. It's always tough, though, when you come in at one. Man, it's a really long, bumpy road to the end. But I got to tell you, with D'Lo Brown, one thing that stands out, and it's not a good thing, was... He was facing a guy named Draws a long time ago, and he was attempting his signature running powerbomb, and he was not able to gain a proper grip on Draws. I guess he was all oily and sweaty, and um, he executed incorrectly and fractured two vertebrae on Draws and paralyzed him, man. It was so sad, man. Wrestling, never try it at home. You know when they say, don't try it at home? I'm telling you, I know I'm just some Canadian YouTuber, but um, please don't try these things at home. But that was so sad to actually you know hear that and see that happening but anyway let's see who's coming in at two. Oh my gosh one of my favorite wrestlers owen hart dressed up as the blue blazer coming in at two and i always admired owen hart's athleticism man i felt like he was always as he would always say walking in the shadows of his older brother brett but um, he was such a fantastic athlete, very good wrestler, and sticking on to the, the sad notes, man, his passing was so tragic. Jeez, I'll always remember it when it happened, man. May 23rd, 1999, during his entrance from the rafters in Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri, his equipment that was lowering him malfunctioned, and he fell into the ring live on a pay-per-view. And it was um, WWF's over the, over the Edge event. It was so sad, man. Dying way too young. But the beauty about... Let's be positive here. The, the beauty about making these videos is that you can bring back people. You know, bring them back to life. And I'm going to be cheering for both guys. But in particular, my fellow Canadian, the Blue Blazer Owen Hart. And let's see what happens here. Coming in at two. It's like... Obviously, coming in at one, it's the same thing. Let's see how these boys do. And I would love to see somebody just go coast to coast, man. Coming in at one and winning it all. How many wrestlers, I want you hardcore to, ask, to tell me the answer. How many guys came in at one and went all the way? Oh, here we go. Val Venus at three. <laughs> and Val Venus, man, he was entertaining to watch. Man, he always reminded me of somebody from, like, Game of Thrones. Oh, D'Lo's out of there. And there's that athleticism. There's that skill. And look at the blazer. No way. He's cleaning house. He is cleaning house. Have we ever seen something like that happen? And Val Venus can't even allow that oil <laughs> to kind of dry up. And here comes Edge. And when I put Edge in here... I wanted to put in a, a young Edge. This is not the rated R superstar. Here we go. This is Christian's partner, Edge and Christian. Oh, and look at this. And I've said this before. I met Edge back in the early 2000s. He's one of the nicest guys you could ever meet, man. So down to earth. But he's got to be careful here because he's dealing with a locked-in blue blazer. 
with two eliminations. Oh, nice little sidestep there by Edge. Let's see what happens here. Who's coming in at four? And I got to tell you, oh, here's Goldust. I got to tell you, man, you know, everybody's going to have their opinions on the 30 that I picked. But um, let me know your 30. I, obviously, you can't put everybody in there that was in the Attitude Era. So look at this. Edge take it on both Goldust and Owen. I'm just going to call him the Blue Blazer. The Blue Blazer. Wow. And look at Gold Dust with that height advantage, that slight height advantage, and you got to give him the strength advantage here against Edge. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, almost looked like the Blue Blazer was going to get eliminated. And here comes Ken Shamrock. And in my opinion, made the best transition from MMA to wrestling. And the WWF, back then that's what it was called, but they brought in Ken Shamrock and Dan the Beast Severn because Dan Severn and Ken had two battles the second one wasn't really exciting at all in the ufc but um dan severin just couldn't do it I, I felt like dan didn't have the body but ken shamrock did and he had the youth on his side and he did very well but he's not doing well here's the blue blazer oh oh he misjudged it he misjudged it went a little too far here comes x Pac, degeneration x and you know it's crazy there's a video when X-Pac was the one, two, three kid, he actually was doing the, the X, you know, the, the suck it sign that he always used to do, the X. Um, he was doing that as the one, two, three kid, man. Crazy stuff. Oh, speaking of crazy stuff, no, no, yes. And one of my famous lines, the blue blazer says no way. And he stays in it. Oh, let's see what happens here. Blue blazer still relaxing. He's got to take a break, though, I feel. Watch out, Kenny. Oh, here comes Test. And I've said this before, and I know if you've been following me, you're like, you keep on repeating yourself, Ricky. But I also met Test as well. Test, Edge, and Christian back in the early 2000s. And rest in peace to him and the Blue Blazer. And look at that. Oh, Xbox out of there. And the undersized competitor just never seems to do well inside these rumbles. And Xbox barely was in there for, oh man he wasn't in there for any time at all really and let's see what happens here man let's see what Tess can do that size here comes Jericho and Jericho remember Y2J and he came in right when um, <laughs> the 2000 was just turning the corner oh and he gets turned right there how about Edge Y2J, Chris Jericho, that's one of the quickest exits we've seen. That may be the quickest. Oh, no. Oh, Edge got lucky right there. Edge got incredibly lucky. And let's see who's coming in now. Shamrock taking a break. Oh, nice. And here comes Devon Dudley. And I was talking to some buddies uh, before making this video, and they were saying that the Dudley boys were the best tag team in the Attitude Era. Um, but for me, I'm a little biased. I'm like, Edge and Christian were the best. But no, they were right up there for sure. The Hardy Boys. Wow, some great tag teams. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, watch out, Blue Blazer. Don't get eliminated, brother. Oh, no. Oh, it was a great run by the Blue Blazer. But he gets eliminated. Oh, the two Canadians, Tess and Edge, getting uh, hurt there by Goldust. Here comes Big Show. And Big Show coming in at 11. Making that transition from WCW, <laughs> from the Giant to the Big Show. Didn't he come in as Paul White for a while and then he changed his name to Big Show? Uh, man, that's too funny. But here we go, let's see what he could do. And the big boys always reign here when it comes to these types of rumbles. Oh, nice DDT by Edge. <laughs> and Goldust, oh, it gets thrown out of there. And I'm telling you, Test has some Amazing strength, man. Look at him. Wow, is he going to toss out Shamrock? No way. Oh, here comes Jerry the King Lawler at 12. And Shamrock kind of ha having a, a little bit of a tough time here, getting rolling here. And here comes the King Lawler. Do I great color commentary, man? <laughs> Guy, <laughs> he was great, man, back in the day. Oh, but great job. Oh, nice. Beautiful job slowing down. Test. You got Edge and Big Show going at it. Devon Dudley. Oh, no. This is a young man's game, and Lawler's out of there. Here comes Bubba Ray. 
Let's see if he can help his brother. Bubba Ray and Devon. Let's see what they can do here. And Bubba Ray coming in. Oh, nice. Didn't get his warm ups in, so he started to shadow box <laughs> once he came into the ring. Not a good thing. And Kenny Shamrock. I always felt like Shamrock wore those pads on his shins because um, he couldn't control his kicks because he's so used to, you know, being a, a full contact MMA fighter that maybe his tendencies, his natural tendencies were to kick full throttle. So they're like, you got to use the padding. Um, I, feel, I really feel like that's what they did. Here comes Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. Are we going to see? No way. Bubba's out. And Matt Hardy's coming in. What strength by Shamrock. Oh, man. And look at this matchup. Test in the big show. Looks like Edge doesn't have a lot left in the gas tank. And there's that kick by Shamrock. Oh, no. Oh, nice move by Matt. And who's coming in now? Who is coming in at this point? Well, this is so exciting. And then even with this retro arena, here's Mankind at 15. It almost feels like we're... Uh, Dialing it back, man. We're in a time machine. What is this, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Haha, <laughs> Socrates, baby. But it really feels like we're back in the these times. And look at Mankind going right after Tess. Edge finding another gear here, or finding uh, the reserve tank. But Shamrock, Shamrock's giving him the sleeper right there. Look at that right there, a little guillotine action. Edge is trying to survive. I don't think I've ever seen that animation. That is so cool. Wow, here comes Benoit at 16. Benoit coming in at 16. Undersized, but a fantastic technical wrestler. And could Tess be in trouble? Oh no, Edge could be in trouble. Shamrock, don't do it. Oh no! Edge is out. And Shamrock's kind of putting together a respectable showing here, man. He had a slow start. But he's got a couple of eliminations. Eliminating uh, Edge right there. Oh, and look at the high kicks. Wow. Being a shoot fighter, you don't think that he has those kind of high kicks. But, man, Shamrock is a very athletic guy, especially back then. He's able to learn. And look at Matt Hardy. He's kind of shaking there. Shaking on the left side of your screen. Wow, nice. What a very interesting move that was by Tess. It was almost looking like he was going into a traditional scoop slam, and then he grabbed his arm and whipped him over. And speaking of whipping him over, oh, oh, what a big boot by Tess. Man, Tess, a lot of people used to say about Tess, man, that he never reached his full potential. He was so good, he had everything. The body, the height, oh, Benoit's out. Man, people are getting eliminated quickly in this rumble but yeah Tess had it all but they just couldn't piece it together when it came to you know his showing on TV you know no let's see if he could stay in there oh yes Tess has some life but he's not out of the woods beautiful kick getting Matt right between the eyes and now Matt deciding to go after Shamrock beautiful driving elbow there by Tess now he's going after Devon. He's got that height and strength advantage here in this ring. You know, they could say that Devon maybe would rival him in strength, but you could also say Ken Shamrock as well. Here we go. Here's Jeff Hardy. The Hardy boys are in there at the same time. Nice head movement by Tess, but he gets ambushed by Mankind. Wow. And here is Jeff Hardy. Oh, no. He's going against his brother. No. What a nice little move right there. And how about, look at Mankind, pulling that jaw. <laughs> Trying to break that jaw, that jaw. And Matt Hardy's just having a tough time. Has he been able to mount any offense? Here he goes, he's finally trying, there he goes. Here comes McMahon. And the last time we had Mr. McMahon in there, I believe he came in at 30. It was so crazy that everything's randomized, man. But when things were randomized, he still uh, managed to tweak the generator. And he still came in late. But not today, people. Not today. And he's getting Russian leg sweep by Matt Hardy. And let's see what happens here. If McMahon could do something. Nice block. Oh, nice. Going right down. Working that left arm and elbow. Test looking to go after the commissioner or the, or the owner, I should say. And here comes Christian 
kind of a little too late. Edge was eliminated. This is Christian with the long hair. Edge and Christian. And those interviews that they had were way too funny, man. I remember going and looking for those Christian glasses for Halloween because me and my buddy wanted to be Edge and Christian for Halloween. It was too funny. But here we go, Matt Hardy. Maybe out. Just couldn't seem to really develop any consistency and test. Throws him out of there. And now he's going to help Mankind, is he? He actually is. No way. Both of these guys are going to get fired. <laughs> McMahon's out. Oh, they got to look for a new job now. And how about this? When friends become foes and Tess is out. Mankind played that like a, a hero, man. Or what? Like a genius. He's kind of playing possum. He's like, Tess, you can help me. And once they got that elimination on McMahon, he's like, I'll eliminate you. And that was great. So let's see what happens here. We have two eliminator. It's two guys eliminated. <laughs> wow, nice move by Mankind. Mankind can move too for his size. I was always impressed with how he was able to move around with all that meat that he was packing, especially in the front row. Oh no! Shamrock's out of there, and here comes the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels with the DX apparel going right after Devon Dudley and he's fresh too he's got that strength but remember Shawn Michaels wasn't really a big guy man he wasn't known for his strength but oh showing some amazing unreal strength and look at this matchup I love that Christian and Michaels but Michaels just seems to have the upper hand so far no don't count Christian out yet headbutt now he's going after Mankind. Here comes The Rock. <laughs> the Nation of Domination. But let's see how The Rock does. Coming in with the hair. Again, this is not Bald Rock. This is The Rock with the big burns. And how about Christian? Wow. What was that called? That wasn't called Twist of Fate, was it? <laughs> what a move. Christian just pouring it on him. And The Rock came in here. Not so sharp. Not so alert, and Christian's taking advantage. And Jeff Hardy, oh, a nice move by The Rock. And here we go, The Undertaker. We've got the big boys coming in now. Undertaker coming in at 22. Oh, The Rock spits on the hand, and now with the big shots. Oh, a nice move by Jeff Hardy, but <laughs> The Rock catches him. Wow, great move by Christian on Michaels. Remember uh, Michaels in the Attitude Era? He was injured for a while. Remember that? He was injured, and then he came back as as a commissioner? I can't remember, but then he joined DX. But let's just see how he does. Oh, what a collision by Jeff Hardy. Here comes the Hitman. Brett the Hitman hard at 23. And let's see what Brett could do. You know, Brett's always got that game face going on. Captain Serious. Now let's see how he could do coming in at a, at a sweet 23. But, oh, nice move by Jeff Hardy. Oh, what a move by Christian. Christian is just so smart, man. And he eliminates the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. You know he's heartbroken. And that is great. Look at this old rivalry. Wow, Undertaker and Mankind. Here comes Kane at 24. Oh, this is going to be so cool to see. Kane and The Undertaker. And here we go. Kane sporting a, a very interesting mask here. Oh no, Undertaker's got to be careful. No! Christian has been kicking butt and taking names here. And he eliminates one of the favorites. But um, if you're an Undertaker fan, don't you be upset, man, because The Undertaker is already in. The Champions Rumble, the Giant Taker, when I did the Giants versus the Minis. So Undertaker's already in the Champions Rumble, so don't you worry. Here comes Kurt Angle at 25. Oh, what a job by the Hitman, eliminating Jeff Hardy. Wow, and Kane was out. I didn't see how Kane got eliminated. I was admiring the handiwork of the Hitman. Oh, no! Christian's out of there! And we got the big boys in here. We've got some of the prime time Attitude Era wrestlers here. Four of them, Mankind, Kurt Angle, The Rock, and The Hitman. And Bret Hart's been on fire. He tried to drop the leg like Hogan and missed. Who's coming in now? 
Stone Cold Steve Austin. Are you crazy, man? This is just too crazy. You gotta be not Stone Cold. In my opinion, the most popular guy during the Attitude Era. He's the guy that drove everything through the roof when it came to the ratings. And, um, man, he was what Hogan was in the 80s for the WWF. And this is crazy. Look at this matchup. And these guys are such good friends now. The Rock and Stone Cold. But back then, they were arch rivals. Adversaries. <laughs> and look at this. The Rock is coming in. Here's Jim Ross is snuck inside this rumble. Jim Ross at 27. Not known for his wrestling. Known for his commentating, but I had to put him in, man, because he was just such a, an iconic piece to the Attitude Era, and he's going right after Brett. <laughs> he's going right after Brett. What did he say about Brett? Or what did Brett say about him that's causing this crazy feud right here? And the Hitman's kind of getting the best of him right here. Uh, and how about Stone Cold and Mankind? Kurt Angle and The Rock. Here's Eddie Guerrero at 28. And I know a lot of people that watch this channel are such huge Guerrero fans. We've all been rooting for him in previous Rumbles. But again, he's so undersized that he just doesn't seem to do too well. But coming in this late, this is his chance. This is definitely his chance if he plays his cards right. Uses that noggin, uses his skill. And let's see what happens. He's doing well, but Mankind catches that punch. Headbutt. The Rock getting beat up a little bit here by Brett. Stone Cold surprisingly getting hurt. Here's Triple H at 29. I am the game. I am the game. Coming in at 29. And remember, this is Triple H with the hair. Not shaved head Triple H. How about Jim Ross? Jim Ross is on fire here. Take it on. Come on. The face of the franchise. Watch out, Triple H. Mankind could be in trouble. Mankind's out of there. Mankind is done. Oh, Triple H gets eliminated by Brett. How good is Hitman in this rumble? Wow. Doing just so well. Some really key eliminations. Now he's going after Stone Cold. Don't do it, brother. Don't do it. No. Stone Cold's still in it. He's got to use that upper body strength. Oh, no. Stone Cold is out. And that's heartbreaking, man. I know a lot of people are huge Stone Cold fans. Oh, no. Guerrero's out of there. The Rock taking a break. The Hitman's not letting him. Oh. So we're down to one, two, three, four. This is the last entry. Who could it be? The last entry at 30. Who's it going to be? Paul Bear. <laughs> oh, I snuck inside the rumble. <laughs> Paul Bear coming in. Iconic figure. And he's going right after The Rock. And I got to tell you, Paul Bearer is listed here in this game at a 30 overall out of 100. So he may not last very long. And a great DDT by The Rock. But you know who's a problem in this ring? It's Jim Ross. Jim Ross has been a problem. And now, oh, he's hulking up. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, he tried to drop the leg like Hogan and missed. And Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle's doing a, a nice job just being, being that silent assassin. Are we going to see Paul Bear out of there? Somebody's got to save him. No. The Rock's helping Jim Ross. And is this going to be it? No. Is he done? No, he hangs on. Oh, no. But a double boot to the chest, he still hangs on. I cannot believe this is happening right here. Paul Bearer withstood a storm. Oh no, he got stunned. Stone Cold Stunner by Jim Ross. And The Rock could be in a heap of trouble. The Hitman's hurt, getting booted to the face. Jim Ross with the chops and a spinorama. <laughs> that was a Texas Tornado type of punch. Oh, but he misses. With the leg getting a little too overconfident. The Rock really needs to mount his offense. Jim Ross. Oh, Rock bottom. Wow. And I don't know if you saw in the bottom corner, but that took out a lot of power. But The Rock's not following up. Oh, <laughs> Paul Bearer. A very amateur move. He is done. We're down to the final four. Signature Russian leg sweep. 
by the Hitman. And now he's going right after Jim Ross. Oh, Jim Ross with a nice counter. Bret Hart doesn't know what. Oh, and how about Jim Ross? He's, uh oh, here we go. Brock's got to be careful. Oh, Kurt Angle's out of there. Now we're down to Bret the Hitman Hart. Jim Ross. Here we go. And The Rock. Is he going to do it? No. The Hitman's out of there. And it's Jim Ross. Nobody knew that he had this in him. <laughs> this is too funny. Let's see what The Rock could do. The Rock missing. The Rock missing. Oh, nice. Going with that takedown. Now he's hulking up. The crowd booing. Oh, he's waiting for him. He's waiting. Is he going to get it? Oh, nice move. Nice move and a headbutt by Jim Ross. <laughs> what a headbutt. What's going to happen here? Oh, and a shot to the gut. And another one. So, rake to the back. And a kick, a stunner. <laughs> a stunner. And The Rock may be out of there. The Rock may be done. No. Is it over? Oh, he whiffs. Oh, he gets it. It's over. Jim Ross has done it. He has been. What has he been hiding, man? What has he been hiding this whole time? <laughs> But Jim Ross <laughs> wins the Attitude Era. Uh, you can only do this in video games, man. And he's only listed at like a... Man, I got to double check the stats on him. But he was only listed in the 70s. How did this man get to the end? I do not know. But he's punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this craziness. What's going on, everybody? Before we end up this video, I wanted to show you guys the stats. Look at this. He's a 75 overall. How did he do it? And um, you could download him on the Creation Zone and check for yourself. He's only a 75. How did he manage to beat the big boys that were in that rumble is totally beyond me. But, hey, he earned it. You can't hate him. If you can't beat him, join him. And um, he's going to be a big-time player in the Champions Rumble. <laughs> Anyways... Bye for real, man. Take care.